Hello everyone, this is Keith from Jesus' Lord Fellowship. Today I am doing the Timely Truths. And today I want to talk about uh, receiving wisdom in the seasons that we're in. Um, I know we are almost two months into the new year. And, you know, a lot of us are experiencing different things during this time. Uh, even during the pandemic, you know, some are coming out of a season, uh, a certain season in their life and stepping into a new one. Some seasons last a year, two years. And I'll say personally for myself, it seemed like I've been going through a season for seven years. Um, a lot of personal uh, reflection that I believe God has shown me through these times, you know, why, you know, I'm going through certain situations, why I must go through. And, you know, when I come out, I will have a, a, a better understanding or an enlightenment of why I had to go through those things. So I, I'll say for me, um, reading through the book of Ecclesiastes, that has really like open up my eyes to see things from a a, a a very different perspective for myself personally. It made me understand the seasons that I was in. It made me understand why I was going through those seasons. And, you know, it, it felt like seven years. And, uh, you know, it was like a situation of going through what, you know, the three Hebrew boys was going through in a fiery furnace. But, you know, there's things that God wants to do with us personally that, you know, in order for us to grow, there's some things that he want to uh, remove from us, you know, some things he want to change from us. So I was reading through uh, Ecclesiastes and chapter seven, you know, that kind of like, I think it, it spoke to me more, you know, on, on, on a, a personal level. So I want to read from Ecclesiastes uh, ch chapter seven, starting from verse one. And it says, a good name is better than, than precious ointment. And the day of death than the day of one's birth. Better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men. And the living will take it to heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by a sad countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. For like the crackling of thorns under a pot, so was the laughter of the fool. This is also, this also is vanity. Surely oppression destroys a wise man's reason and a bribe debases the heart. The end of a thing is better than its beginning. The patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Do not hasten in your spirit to be angry, for anger rests in the bosom of fools. And for me, I'll, I'll say, you know, um, for the past few years, two, three years, there's a lot of uh, uh, reflection that I, ha I had to make. Um, I believe the stuff that I've, I've gone through personally, you know, God has allowed things to happen to correct me on some things and to check me, um, to discipline me, um, to enlighten me and, and, and inspire me. And that, and that was even by using people who, who I wouldn't have expected that God will use to either say certain things that can help me to better understand things or even provide some practical wisdom on how I could do things differently. I'll say, uh, these past few years, you know, I've, I, I, I need a correction. I need a correction on how I handle certain situations that, you know, challenge me out of, out of my own comfort zone. Um, even, you know, being a, a better husband, you know, there's things that I need to learn on how to do and to not do as being a kingdom husband. You know, we hear, you know, husbands do this, do that. But, you know, when we are in the family of Christ, you know, we're, we're part of his kingdom. You know, we, we are supposed to handle things a lot different, you know, as far as the world sees things. And, um, you know, as a kingdom husband, you know, there's things that I needed 
uh, correction on. Um, there's things I need to be checked on. Um, I needed some wisdom. Even being a father, you know, raising kingdom kids, you know, trying to raise your kids up in the Lord. You know, there's a lot of things that I had to learn to do better as a parent, as far as discipline, you know, discipline, discipline in the way of the Lord. Um, there's things I, I need to learn how to do better when it comes to um, discussing certain things on, on a political aspect. You know, I, I have never really been into politics, but, you know, it just seemed like, you know, these past couple of years, it kind of shown us a lot of about ourselves and how we handle certain things. Um, things that I guess we desire the most or the things that we like or the things that make us feel uncomfortable. But, you know, it kind of teaches us, it should teach us how we should address things differently, you know, as far as these mandates and, you know, the vaccines, you know, whether you agree or you disagree. Um, you know, it's taught me how to address things a lot differently, you know, even if people disagree. And that's even when it's, you know, people in your family, people in your circle, uh, you know, uh, co-workers, you know, you're going to have disagreements, but you have to do things in a respectful way. You have to respect people's decisions. Um, you have to respect people's beliefs um, and their faith, whether they feel comfortable or whether they don't. You know, there's a lot of things that we all have to learn, um, even myself. So for that you know, um, it, you know, in the book of Ecclesiastes made me understand things a little bit different. Um, there's a lot of things that have, I know people have experienced death a lot. They still experiencing, and they don't know why, you know, we're all in different type of seasons. You know, it's funny because, um, one of the things I, I used to hear is like, there's, there's, there's two reasons that gets people to come together who haven't seen each other for so long. And it's either uh, a family reunion or uh, a funeral. And the part where it says, you know, in a time of mourning and time of laughter, and it kind of makes you think that, you know, when we're always celebrating and, you know, when you, you go into a family reunion, everybody's excited, happy to see each other and all this stuff. You're not really worrying about asking them, well, hey, how's your relationship with the Lord? You know, have you been to church or have you been? You're not thinking about that. You're thinking you're excited. Hey, I haven't seen you for so long, 10 years, 30 years, whatever. You know, you're happy and excited. But then at a funeral and you don't hear and, and you're not really barely you hear somebody say, hey, I want to sit down and, and you know, we're going to talk about the Bible at the family reunion and all that. You know, you're not really thinking about that. But when you had a family reunion, a time of mourning, you know, dealing with a death or dealing with grief in the family, it kind of makes you think about your own walk with God. You know, seeing somebody there who you might have seen just a few days ago and now you they're they're gone it makes you look at life differently and that could be the the time where you you finally hear somebody lead people to the lord you know you see people they come together people that haven't seen each other for 10 20 years the next thing you know they're gone the next thing you know they're you know somebody's gone but then that is the time somebody uh open up the bible preach the gospel and people really start thinking about the life that they've been living. They start thinking about their own relationship with the Lord. You know, have I really been, you know, doing what I'm supposed to have been doing? You know, I haven't been reading God's word in years. I haven't been to church. I haven't really been surrounded. I've been, you know, doing all these different things. But in a time of mourning, it really causes us to take life a little more seriously. It makes us think about our own personal walk with the Lord. So, you know, there's, you know, there's a season for everything. So uh, I also wanted to read, oh, no, I wanted to finish reading uh, verses 10. It says, do not say why were the former days better than these, for you do not inquire wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance and profitable, profitable to those who see the sun. For wisdom is a defense as money is a defense, but the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to those who have it. Consider the work of God, for who can make straight what he has made crooked? In the day of prosperity, be joyful. But in the day of adversity, consider 
Surely God has appointed the one as well as the other, so that man can find out nothing that will come after him. So, you know, a lot of us, you know, we can sometimes think, well, why, why, why? This is the worst year of my life, the worst two years since this COVID and all this stuff. But then God can see the things that we went through. And when you come out of it, you see things totally different. And it might be the time you, you, uh, you know, uh, gave yourself to the Lord. So then you see things and you say, you know what? Even though it may look like it's the worst time, the worst two years of my life. But now that I found Jesus, this has been the best year, the best two years of my life. Because now I get to understand why I went through everything I went through. So um, that is your timely choose. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Goodbye.